Hey, I'm back and I'm back on a regular schedule. Let me open my little book. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? Like this week has gone by so fast already. Last week where I was away on spring break, it just went gone. I can't believe it. But yeah, we are at week, where are we? 16 and 17. Yeah, 16 and 17, what? So I'm almost to my four month mark, which is crazy to me, but yay, four months has almost has already almost passed. So I think it's on Saturday, so cool. Yes, yeah, so I was out on spring break. It was so fun. I had such an awesome time. I mean, being on vacation for an entire like week is so oh, peaceful. It's peaceful. It's great, especially when you're not like, I mean, I love the theme parks and I love Disney and we always go, but it's like, it's hectic because you're walking and you're going from place to place and it's just like, the day is like flying. Whereas this was, we were going on a road trip, we were hanging out, looking at stuff. It was great. So if you get the opportunity to have a whole week off, enjoy it because this was nice. <clears throat> Okay, so what do I want to talk about? I want to say hi. For those of you who are new, welcome. And if you're just popping in, thank you for coming by. Be part of our journey. Subscribe. We have a little good group going here, and it's nice to have people coming in and saying hi. So, yay. Join us. Um, yes, what did I do on vacation? Did I eat well? Did I exercise? I did not go out and work out at the gym. I did not do any of that. I ate pretty much whatever I wanted, you know, keeping myself mindful of what I was eating and making sure I was doing the right things for the most part, but I wasn't really being picky or keeping track or doing anything like that. So, I don't know. I just relaxed. The good thing is when I weighed in, once I got back, guess what? I was the same exact as I was when I left. So, amazing. I was happy about that. Um, <clears throat> I also want to talk about this new 80 day challenge that I've started on with a group of wonderful people on Facebook. If you're interested, let me know and I'll kind of link you in, um, somehow, I don't know. Um, but yeah, one of my girls that came in through YouTube and Instagram, she invited me on this wonderful 80 day journey until summertime and I'm doing it. I'm trying my best to do it. And basically it's committing yourself for 80 days to do something. Maybe it's not like, um, it's nothing that you have to buy. It's basically something that you commit to do. So basically if you want to do exercise for 80 days or you want to commit to drinking your water for 80 days or a combination of exercise and water and your vitamins or something, just something that's going to commit you to reaching your weight loss goals or getting closer to those, then yeah, that's what I'm doing and I'm trying to participate. So my commitment was to do my exercise as much as I could, to um, do my 30 grams or less of carbs, which I've been working on, to exercise, I just said exercise, but to, so my exercise will be like walking or gym or something that's physical. And so that's what I have committed to and I'm doing it so far. I did hurt my foot somehow this week and I'm like, uh, what am I supposed to do with this? But while it heals, which I did treadmill three days this week and I did arms, I did legs, I'm going to do abs to try to compensate in some floor work because I don't think I should like be pushing my foot. It hurts really bad. Like I can almost not stand fully on it. I don't know what I did, but anyway, I think it's age. So that's that. Yeah. One thing that I did this week is I posted on Instagram this, um, a quote of some sort and, it, and what triggered me to do that was that I had come across a YouTuber that's also on this weight loss journey and her message was trying to be positive, but it was coming across kind of negative to me. And I'm like, I don't understand where she's going with this, but I guess maybe she was having a day or maybe that's just how she is. I don't know. I was just kind of like, meh, meh, meh. a little bummed when I read her thing. You know, she's like, well, nobody cares if I come on here all disastrous. Nobody cares about anything. Just that I put out my message to you talking to the people who subscribe to her channel. <clears throat> And I don't need to be putting on makeup. I don't need to be having a nice background. I don't need to be having good lighting. Okay, I get that. But look, I take pride in the content that I put out here for you guys, 
for myself, keeping track of this journey, for all the reasons that I feel like I just want to put something nice out. And I kind of felt <laughs> offended when she was like, I don't need that. La, la, la. Okay, I get that. But it was kind of like a bummer. So even if somebody has a positive message, but they're giving it in a negative way, it kind of doesn't give you that lift that you need for the week. And I think that for me and for a lot of us that are out there, we need that motivation, that lift from somebody that's going to tell us, you know what, you can do this. And we're doing it and we're working on it every day. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I have seen people that have had surgery the same amount of time as I have, and they've blown off like 70 pounds. They've blown off like 80 pounds. And I'm like, <gasps> yay, I'm happy for these people because how cool is that? Like, I want to be there and someday I will be, but guess what? My journey is different and I'm just going to go by what I'm doing. So here are my stats. Okay. All right. I think when I, um, let's see, my highest weight was 217.5 pounds. My surgery weight was 212 pounds. And last time I came to you guys, I was 190 pounds, which I maintained for that whole other week. So nothing happened because I went on vacation and I ate and I, whatever. I came back. So 190 pounds. And today I'm 188.5 pounds. Yay! You know what? I am so proud of every last ounce that I have lost. You know why? Because I've worked hard for it. This has not been easy. I don't care what anybody says. This is hard work. So yay. I am thankful. I am thankful for this surgery. I feel like, you know what? Before the surgery, I would try to lose weight and it was like two pounds down, two pounds up, three pounds down, three pounds. Up. It was never like a consistent, you know, something that was coming off. So now I'm seeing that it's coming off. I don't have this lap end anymore keeping me back, which was helping me for a long time, but then just went crazy. So I am very grateful and thankful for having had this surgery. I'm seeing the results. I was reading on my um, forum for the group that I had surgery that the goal is to get down to thir your BMI to 30. So that puts you at an overweight status. And so I think that if you're starting at a super duper high weight, Getting to that overweight mark is like a huge accomplishment, I think. And eventually, we all want to be at that normal weight BMI. So that's my ultimate goal. Um, what else? Uh, also, the way they calculate your your what your weight should be, your ideal weight should be, is they take your highest weight minus your goal weight, and that should be the amount of pounds that you lose. So that's what they were calculating. Anyway... I did all my calculations. I'm trying to figure out where I'm trying to be. Um, right now, my BMI is, I think it's a 33. So I'm getting there. I'm still at the obese level, but I'm getting there and I'm excited. So I want to encourage you to keep going. Keep going. Don't give up. Don't let anybody discourage you, even if it's with a positive, negative message. I don't know why, why people do this, but go out there. Do it. You can do it. I'm doing it. And thank you for the support. Thank you for coming in, even with my little tiny one minute message from last week. Um, I will keep up with my stuff and keep giving you my updates. Now I'm back to a normal schedule again. So yay for that. It's always nice to see everyone and be on here again. I kind of missed it, kind of missed the routine part of it. So have a great week. Have a good weekend. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, do it. Subscribe and give it a like. Bye.